Hey YouTube, this is Rack60. I'm here demonstrating Evolve on the uh, PlayStation Vita. Um, this video won't be long. I probably have to cut my session shortly because um, the battery on my camera is about to die any minute for some reason, even though I've been charging it for several minutes. But as you can see, I have the game queued up on the my PlayStation Vita. I can select everything up on the Vita as before. Uh, I believe this is the Trapper class. Now, if I'm starting to dislike the use of the Vita, I'm going to probably switch over to con the controller and I'm going to show you why, hopefully. But um, the controls are very simple. Um, the front touch screen is the map. Uh, the back, the two. Uh, oops. Okay. Um, the two sections on the back are for L2 and R2. L2. Um, let's see what L2 does. L2. L2, L2 L, uh, aims down the sights and R2 shoots which is great on the actual controller but on the PS Vita it's very janky because you have the touchpad um, besides that most of the things are pretty normal as they would be on the controller you use the shoulder buttons, the face buttons and the analog sticks the only thing I don't like is that you have to shoot uh, using the the rear touchpad and aim down sights at the same time. But besides that, it's okay. Oh yeah, the sound comes through the PS Vita too. I, I just turned it down. I bet you are. I didn't serve in the mutagen wars, if that's what you're asking. Why are you? But yeah, once you level up, you're able to pick different characters, and have different traits, different guns. Um, I haven't leveled up the Trapper yet, because I never played as a Trapper. Well, I have, but I just don't like to. Because I'm the one that has to chase up the monster most of the time. Rather than, like, uh, play back and wait until... Um, till everybody else finds the monster to attack it, I have to, I have to be the one that's like ahead of everybody. Oh, as you can see there, I'm shooting. That's asking me to. Okay, um, I'm holding about, like, close to the middle of the touchpad for the register. I don't know, maybe that's something with my PS Vita, but I had this PS Vita since launch, so this Vita is very old. For the most part, it's just um, works with the first uh, two sections of the PSP to rear screen. Um, hopefully, you guys get to see the monster before our battery dies in my uh, camera. If not, um, I might upload some more gameplay. Probably of me not talking during the gameplay. I know you guys are like wondering what is he doing and all this, but you know. Dang it, the monster escaped. Oh, 
but um, I don't know what to really say about playing on the PS Vita besides it, it besides it runs fine and everything and you can see what you're doing but you can't go too far away from the PS4 or else it's gonna freak out cause you know you gotta have that close connection As you can see here, um, my team caught up with the, the called the Kraken, which I'll imagine it'll be in the water somewhere. But no, it's the octopus. I mean, it makes sense, so it's octopus-looking thing. But it sends out like lightning as its attack, which basically I don't know. So far, and as much as I've been playing this. Um, it seems like the strongest monster of all of them. I mean, Goliath is like the first one that everybody sees in the posters and the the trailers for the game. I mean, he's strong and all, but he's not like Kraken strong. Okay, Kraken can just like just stay back and just attack people. And sorry if I'm quiet, almost in LA, it's just I'm trying to focus. It's kind of hard for me to focus and talk at the same time. Uh, but once again, I might upload some gameplay of me not talking. Because um, I had some gameplay earlier re I recorded, and that's when the camera died before, so it might cut off randomly at the end. But I'm gonna have to remove the sound because I was just like talking on the phone during the whole time. I wasn't really paying attention. But yeah, I, I guess I would recommend this game um, to anybody who has like a stable uh, internet connection. But if you don't, I wouldn't recommend this because it always gave me a bunch of network issues. But then again, yeah, I remember this isn't the full game that I'm playing right here. It's the um, isn't the alpha, but it's I guess it's, I guess you could call it the beta. I don't know whether it's the alpha or the beta, it's the one that's closest to retail. But apparently, this is supposed to be like closest to re retail version of this. Trap them? Did I not? The escape. Damn it! I think he escaped. <sighs> now I gotta wait for that to charge up and all that crap. Hell. I'm sorry. It was like one of the frustrations with certain abilities. Like you gotta wait until it to charge up. And being the trapper, you gotta be ahead of everybody, which sucks. That's why I don't want to be a trapper. Now, uh, um, before you start a match, like they, most times they give you a choice on what you want to be. So if you want to uh, be the trapper or the salt or uh, support or medic, you can pick that like as one of your main choices. But you also have like four other choices, I believe. So 
and it's kind of at random so if so many people pick choose to be like one class you would just be with the one that uh, it didn't um, or you'd be stuck with the only slot that would probably be open like if that was one of your first couple of choices like you chose to be medic as your second one you probably end up being the medic I have no idea where the monster is at now That's why I don't like being the trapper. Being the trapper, you have to find the monster before anybody else. But most times, when I was like the medic, I found the monster. I used like shoot it with like a sleeping dart or something like that. So. Um, I'm glad there isn't a run button. At the same time, I kind of wish there was one. Uh, I can like speed up the running speed, but I think that's like a perk. But yeah, you want to avoid most of the monsters. That isn't the main one that you're hunting after, because the uh, um, the other monsters were uh, mostly. Mostly, uh, they'll mostly kill you right, like, in first, uh, easily, so. Wait, did I get the monster or did I not get the monster? It feels like I did, but I didn't at the same time. See, this is why I'm like the worst trapper. Like, I have to wait until this thing recharges and all that crap. Oh, crap. He's probably nearby and gonna kill me. But so far, that camera has been holding up, which is a good thing. But yeah, I'm basically running around, waiting until my trap uh, recharges. Cause once it does, if it uh, once it recharges, then I can trap the monster. So but uh, if it doesn't recharge soon, I have to run around trying to look for it. I mean, not the trap, but for the monster, well, the trap being ready to go. I have to shoot it as I'm running. Um, one thing you don't want to do is have the monster, or whoever is the monster, um, get to stage three, because stage three is like basically all the way leveled up as far as abilities. And they can do whatever they want. Finally, maybe I can get to use this. Yay, it worked. Does it mean I'm really gonna get to kill the monster though? As you can see, the monster is just straight up killing everybody. And like in one hit. 